Hey everybody, it's Professor Beerson here, and I wanted to share with you my poster presentation at the Society for Music Theory annual conference in 2024. It's called Prolongation in Turkish Classical Music. Uh, this is actually the uh, information that comes from a chapter that I wrote for a book called Modeling Musical Analysis. Uh, it's published by Oxford University Press, and it's coming out January 2025. So you can find this uh, in a book chapter form uh, in a couple of months. The thesis that I uh, uh, that I put out here is compositions of Turkish classical music are based in part on the prolongation of individual scale degrees as they progress in stepwise melodic motion towards a goal tone. Okay. Now, the first thing that I want to draw your attention to is example one, diatonic pitches of Turkish classical music from Kantemir. Most mainstream makam theory, whether it's Turkish, Arabic, even Persian, will often draw your attention to tetrachords, pentachords, even trichords, and they sort of try to spell out makam scales from those. I find that to be very confusing, to be honest with you, and it hasn't helped me one bit. Um, it mostly is used, in my opinion, for tuning, right, and um, devising the ratios in between intervals. However, um, what Kantemir points out is he, he puts out this collection of pitches, which he calls tam paradeler, which are, um, I've translated as diatonic pitches, okay? And um, from this pitch collection, what you're going to do is focus on one of them as a central tone, and then you're going to create a melody around that, and then you're going to connect that melody to another central tone. So what happens in the Makam Husseini, for example, is you focus on the pitch Husseini, as a goal tone, and that's notated on the staff as an E. The second um, pitch that you're going to focus on, <clears throat> and this is the main, uh, we might call the modal final, is the A, the Duga. Okay, so first you're going to focus on Husseini, and then you're going to focus on Duga. And then you're going to connect those two by going down the scale from there. So Husseini. E goes down to Neva, D, which goes down to Charga, C, which goes down to Sega, B, backwards flat. And for the tuning of that backwards flat, I have another video on that in Turkish tuning from the same YouTube channel, so check that out. And then you go down to the Duga. So you're starting by establishing Husseini as a focal point then connecting that by scalar step down to the pitch duga. Now, what do I mean by prolongation? Well, along the way, um, any one of the pitches of this scale can be sort of mm, extended or, or settled on for a little while. And then all, all the other music will kind of revolve around that, around that pitch. <clears throat> so my first example here is Tamburi Jamil Bey's Chechen Kazı. It's a very famous instrumental composition. Notice the first thing that happens. La, si, do, re, mi, mi, mi. We've established the E, which remember is the pitch Husseini. Mi, re, mi, la, mi, mi, re, mi, la, mi, mi, re, mi, la, mi, re, mi, la, mi, re, mi, la, mi. All of these gestures do nothing but prolong and extend our experience of that pitch E, which is the pitch Husseini. Okay? And once we've achieved that pitch and focused on it, the rhythms and the other pitches that we're hearing around it aren't really moving anywhere melodically. We keep going back to that pitch Husseini. La si do re mi 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 re mi la mi mi re mi la mi mi re mi la mi re mi la mi re mi la mi Now the next thing that happens we do wind up moving off it in the next line of music re do mi re re do mi re and notice re sol fa fa mi mi re re Notice that we keep going back to that re for a while, so we can sort of dwell on that pitch as well. Re, do, do, si, si, la, si, sol, la. Now we've made it down our scale to the duga, the A. 
which is our final tone. <clears throat> and then we have a little uh, concluding melody. La, sol, la, si, do, re, si, sol, la, do, si, la. And there's our friend, Duga, again. So that last bit is like a little confirmational melody that says, yes, we are landing on the Duga. And what I've done here is I've tried to show in, uh, in the music those pitches that I was just describing. So we made it up to the E. The E is highlighted in green. And then all those dashed slurs are showing every single time we go back to that E. Right, so that opening melody is very much about showing the E as a focal point and then just continuing to re-attack it over and over again to really insist on the fact that we are uh, using Husseini as a focal point. Then the next line starts with the green D, which is the pitch neva. And we, sit, we, we focus on that for a little bit until we move down to the C, charga, the green, the B backwards flat, sega, and then the A. And then we do the CBA at the very end. So, so what I wound up doing was taking those pitches that I've highlighted, and I tried to create a reduction. Uh, that's example four, and I'm showing you that the E is the first pitch, the main one is Husseini there, and then it's going down by step to the A as the Duga, and that's like a reduction of what's happening in the pitch uh, in the pitch prolongation of Chechen Kaze. Now we're going to see something similar happening in the next piece that I analyzed. <clears throat> this is Tatios Effendi's Husseini Sa Semaisi. So we're still in the Makam Husseini. And in fact, that first melody there is um, a good example of showing the pitch as a focal point. La, re, mi. There's, there it is. Mi, sol, fa, sol, mi. Okay, so that opening gesture winds up highlighting the Husseini. Showing that it's a focal point of this melody. Another thing that's really cool about this is I've done uh, another video for the Society of Music Theory's video journal. It's called SMTV on characteristic melodies. Sometimes you will hear a melody that is so synonymous with a makam that it also helps to draw your mind towards that makam. So not only in this opening have we had this um, highlighting of E as an important pitch, but we also have the characteristic melody of Husseini. Okay? It's um, mi, sol, fa, mi. I talked about that in that other video. You can check that out as well. I'll just put the link in the description. La, re, mi, mi, sol, fa, sol, mi. Okay? Now we're going to, once we've established that E is the focal point, Husseini, we're going to go down the scale. Do, re, mi, do, re, mi, re, do, si, do, si, do, re, si, so, do, la. And now we've landed on our duga. All right. So we've made it all the way down from Husseini as the first focal point down the scale to the second goal tone, which is duga. But notice that this is the opening of the piece. It's too soon, right? He's giving us the Makam Husseini as a reference. He's gone down to the Duga. Great, but he doesn't want to end the piece there yet. So what happens? We go back up. La, sol, la, sol, la, si, do, re, mi, fa, re, mi, fa, la, sol, sol, la, fa, sol, mi, re, mi. We land on Husseini again. La, re, mi, mi, so, fa, so, mi, do, re, mi, do, re, mi, do, si, do, re, mi, re, do, si, do, si, do, re, si, do, la, so, la, so, la, si, do, re, mi, fa, re, mi, fa, la, so, so, fa, fa, so, fa, mi, mi. Wind up back on the Husseini. We haven't left it yet. So in a sense, you can say that that first opening Husseini actually connects all the way to that last Husseini at the end of this opening section. OK, 
okay? And that's what I tried to show in my example six and example seven. So I'm showing you again, the, e, uh, the green pitches are the ones that I'm pick, picking out as the structural scale. And uh, the prolongation takes place um, not only between the opening E's, the Husseinis, but also between the first E and the last E of this example. And again, the example seven shows you that as well. You've started on the E, and I've shown that that's an important tone uh, because I've given it as a whole tone. And then I show the scale down to the A, and that's also the, the, the final of this makam. So that's important, and that's the goal of the melody, right? But then ultimately, we wind up going back and landing on the E at the end of the section. So we haven't, while we've gone down, we haven't stayed down, right? We've gone back to where we started. And in fact, the next measure is the uh, what they call the teslim, and this is when we will have the conclusion. So mi la sol fa sol mi fa re mi do mi re mi do mi re mi do re mi re do si do si do re si do la. Okay, so here we've started on that Husseini where we left off the last section. And then this time we wind up passing through the D and landing on the C. And look at how many times we go back. We are insisting on that pitch. Okay. So again, this is an example of a pitch being prolonged. There's other rhythms and pitches being heard, but really what's happening is we're, we're moving away from and coming back to that same pitch. And finally, we got the, the B backwards flat. And then we land on the A, the Duga. That's our goal to conclude our makam. <clears throat> mi, la, sol, fa, sol, mi, fa, re, mi, do, mi, re, mi, do, mi, re, mi, do, re, mi, re, do, si, do, si, do, re, si, do, la. Now, again, we've landed here a little bit early. We have a couple more measures to go. So what happens? Sol, la, sol, la, si, do, re. We go back up. La so fa mi re. Do si la. Mi re re do do si si la la. We wind up cadencing on the duga. But <laughs> for the first ending, look what happens. We go right back up. La si do re mi. And then we do that again. We repeat the section mi la sol fa sol mi fa re mi do mi re mi do mi re mi do re mi re do si do si do re si do la sol la sol la si do re la sol fa mi re now the second ending do si la mi re re do do si si la la and now that's the end of our composition, we land on the duga for the final cadence. Okay, so there's rhetoric in this, right? And it's always between those two pitches. And then sometimes the pitches in between to connect them by scale can be focused on. Like in the uh, initial example, we focused on uh, the D for quite a bit, right? And then we move down the scale. And in this one, we're focusing on the C, charga, for quite a bit before we move down the rest of the scale. <laughs> so I tried to show that here. In the reduction, I've got your Husseini, and you go down, and notice again the insistence on Charga, the C, and we do land on the A, but then we go up to the D this time and land on the A. So this is almost like, a again, a, a confirmation that we are, yes, landing on the Duga for the final cadence. Okay, so that's what I think uh, is happening in these makam pieces. What you're doing is you're focusing on a goal tone, you're establishing a melody around that, and then from there you're trying to connect it to another tone um, from the pitch collection that I mentioned above. Alright, I hope uh, I hope that you found this interesting. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think about it. Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.